Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Oh boy. Um, judge not, or you'll be judged. You go out into the world, you ask around. That is pretty much the summary of commandments 1 through 10. They're pretty sure it's in the Bible somewhere. Um, and it's almost always followed by a statement about having no regrets. But the thing is, if you're saying that you don't have regrets for it, even if you don't, the only reason you're talking about it that way in the first place is because it probably didn't go great. I mean, nobody argues over whether or not they regret having a great day. The reason that it went poorly is because sin hurts. That's why God calls it sin. And yes, he speaks to Christians and he says, judge not lest ye be judged. But Luther writes, while no one is allowed to publicly judge and reprove his neighbor, although he may see him sin, unless he have a command to judge and to reprove, there is a great difference between these two things, judging sin and knowing sin. You may indeed know it, but you are not to judge it. This is what the world doesn't get. When they say, judge not lest you be judged, what they really mean is, don't call the thing that I'm doing wrong. Don't know that God calls it a sin. To judge is not to know. Judge is an action word. Judge means either punish or even acquit. But if you're judging something, you're bringing about condemnation for a sin. That is not yours to do. But here's the thing. If you're just saying, you're not allowed to say what I'm doing is wrong, what you're saying then is um, personal morality is something that every person gets to choose for themselves. You know, like a judge. <laughs> you get to choose for yourself whether or not your action deserves punishment. Like a judge. Right and wrong just don't disappear because somebody wants them to. The word of the Lord is absolute. Sin is called sin because God says so and because it hurts. You're allowed to study God's law. You're allowed to know sin to be wrong. In fact, it's encouraged. No sin for what it is because it hurts. No sin for what it is because it condemns. No sin for what it is because it breaks stuff. The thing is, it's just not your job to hand out punishment for it. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. Higherthings.org slash support. Give today.